Hi, thanks for tuning in to this One Cool Thing podcast on peer reviews and how to use uh, SpeedGrader to speed up your grading. I want to showcase a project that I do in my biology class that's kind of a big one. It's something we spend the entire unit on and uh, I like showing this because it kind of shows you the what all the different things you can do with a Canvas assignment. So the basic premise of this assignment is they have to create a video. It's like a, a, a a biome project where they have to uh, describe the ecosystem of their choice, they have to identify a threat and then come up with a solution to solve that problem. And what they essentially have to do is a screencast. They have to uh, create a Google Slides presentation and then use uh, something like Screencastify to record a video describing that. And they upload that in, onto YouTube and they turn it in. And so. Um, I have this assignment here that kind of walks them through. I give them the introduction. Uh, they do a team contract. I have the required parts. I link to elements of my rookie module that reminds them about uh, the bibliography and how to cite sources appropriately. I give them options. They have a variety of options to record their video and then uh, how and what they will turn in. So they will turn it in. And this is a group assignment, meaning that what one student uh, gets they all get so they're they're all in on this together and so you can see all those instructions I have a rubric that I created and so I've attached it here and so this has each of the required parts so you can see that they'll see this rubric ahead of time now what I want to show you is how to first of all how I made it a, a group project and uh, how I assigned peer review so peer reviews are a great way for students to get feedback from more than just their teacher, right? And so uh, when you are creating assignments, you've probably seen this, but you probably just gloss right over it. So uh, here we are, I've created a group assignment. Now I have another video on how to do group assignments, so check that out to learn how I did that. But uh, all I had to do is check require peer reviews, and I like to just use the automatically assigned peer reviews. You can pick as many people as you want. I typically would do two or something like that. Um, I can specify uh, when those are, are assigned, and I think if you leave it blank, it defaults to the due date and time. Um, you can have peer reviews within the group, but I would uncheck that, and you can check this box so the person who's getting the feedback will not know that it's coming from, uh, or who it's coming from, right? And so here's all my due dates and whatnot, and uh, by the way, I should just say, you know, before you do peer reviews, you do need to have a conversation in class about the purpose of a peer review uh, and about what it means to give constructive feedback. Uh, there, there is some important conversation uh, conversations that need to take place before you do this. Um, at this point of, of the year when this project comes in, we've already done many peer reviews, so this one we don't even hardly talk about it, but early in, in the year you should. So. Um, now I, I've created all my settings, I've turned it in, uh, and my students now have turned in their assignments. And so here are, here are my related items. Um, I can go to SpeedGrader uh, to begin grading. Uh, I can download the submissions. Um, sometimes, this inevitably happens, uh, students have difficulty accessing their peer review. So here I have uh, every student and the ones that they have been assigned. And so sometimes you'll get a kid who doesn't have one. Uh, and so what I can do is I can click on this little plus sign and then I can find a student and I can randomly assign them. And right now it's not delineating uh, which group each student is in. Um, but if I, if I pick some student, it'll be their group one. So I wanna make sure that student is in, in Ani's group, right? So I'm gonna go through uh, and make sure uh, that everybody has an assignment. Now, if a student doesn't turn in work, they're not gonna have one assigned to them. So they have to have turned in work to be able to get a peer review. And if they haven't, then you can come here and you can click on the little plus sign uh, to, to assign them. Uh, or you can click on the little button right here to manually assign them or automatically assign. Now, when I'm ready to grade, I go to speed grader. And here's where it gets really pretty cool because there's a lot of different things here. So if I click on this link, now I can see their video. I can watch their video in SpeedGrader. 
I can come up here and I can see, man, they, they submitted over and over and over again, but as long as they didn't turn it in late, I'm cool with that. Um, I can come up here and I can see all the different people who did peer reviews. So I can see what grade uh, she gave them and I can compare that. Now the student will be able to see this. They'll be able to see all these different uh, pieces of feedback and so it, it's nice, especially if you're using this as a formative tool, not necessarily a summative, to get feedback from more than just the teacher. And, and I often find it very interesting to see how other students uh, peer review each other compared to what I want to do. Um, now uh, Brian Elliott, my colleague, he did this peer review and so I can't change the rubric because uh, this class is already done, but I would go down the rubric and I'd be able to check the boxes and assign the grade. I can give comments. Uh, I can attach things. I could record a video. Uh, and uh, once I'm done checking all those, the grade will show up up here at the top. And so um, it's just really nice to have a variety of different things coming all together at once, being able to have the students get feedback from each other, uh, to be able to see that feedback yourself as a teacher, be able to um, use a rubric and literally just go down the line checking boxes and giving them a grade and then uh, if it's a group project you can see it's a lot less grading than um, grading each and every student so uh, once I hit a grade for for period four group one everybody in that group is now going to get that score of 96 in the grade book so that's a little overview of how to use uh, peer reviews and uh, even rubrics within SpeedGrader. It's the exact same thing if this was a document. In this case it was a video, but it could easily be uh, a document. And then I'll have another video where I can show uh, if you have a Word doc, how you can comment on the Word doc. If it's a Google doc, how you can comment on a Google doc. So check that out as well. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.